So I'm dying my hair today. Well, technically I'm not dying it, but I am. Let me explain. If you've seen my other videos, or if you follow me on TikTok, you'll know I used to have dark auburn hair and it faded so quick. So I was using the glazed conditioning glosses to revive it a little bit. Now, if you don't know what the glazed products are, they're basically like a semi-permanent color that you use between coloring your hair to keep it vibrant, adds a bit of life back into it. So when I had red hair, I was using the shade Glazed Cherry, Auburn Spice and Chocolate Gleam. I mixed them up and basically used them in between dyeing my hair because it was ginger. Nothing wrong with that, but it's not what I wanted. I actually dyed it back to my natural colour a few months ago. However, the issue I'm having is because it was previously red, it is now coming through very, very warm. So I thought maybe I could use one of the glazed conditioning glosses to get it back to a darker brown. The shade I'm actually gonna be using today is Sleek Espresso. And this is recommended for people with dark brown hair. So I'm hoping this is gonna work. We'll find out together. Just a visual reference what my hair looks like now. It is more like a medium to dark brown. And what you'll see is, my hair is so greasy. Oh, comparison to my roots, to the ends of my hair. I mean, <laughs> it ain't gonna do. So just so you know the instructions that they say to do is apply with gloves onto dry or damp hair and develop for 10 minutes and then rinse so it's super quick 10 minutes and it's done now i don't ever use gloves when i use it i just <laughs> go commando but to be honest i don't find that it stains my hands or anything like that it literally comes straight off so i wouldn't worry too much about that when it comes to dry or damp hair i always do it on damp hair i just find it's easier to distribute the color throughout your hair when it's damp. Maybe that's just because I have thicker hair, but I mean, do whatever's right for you. I actually have a little water bottle, <laughs> little. So I just spray my hair with this. So I always do this in sections. So I've just clipped the top half of my hair up. So you can see how much I'm putting on in the full length of my hair. I'm gonna actually rotate the film this way. So just a jump scare for that. Now you can see. So I'm just gonna start wetting the bottom of my hair. I don't soak it, I just make it damp. Again, you don't have to do this. I just find it easier because I do have thicker hair. Make sure we've got everything. I don't know why I'm doing this in a white top. So again, doesn't have to be soaking wet. This is perfect. Now, for the bottom, I'm just gonna ha do about this much. Rub it together. This is the color. It's an interesting color. Not what I expected. It's like a darker red, but I mean, it could turn out completely different, so. Don't forget the roots. And I use the brush to brush through. And you can add a little bit more if you want. I'm just gonna add a bit more for the roots because I didn't really get to those bits. And bits at the back here. I know it looks like I used a lot, by the way, but. These last me so long. Like those other three, I've used them so many times and I've still got so much left. So I might have to give them to one of my friends who's got red hair. Because my ends are lighter, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on those. Same again on this side. Give it a little twist. Done. And that took me a few minutes. Now just on to the second layer. So again, just wet my hair. You can wet all of it at the same time. I just find it dries quicker that way. Like I said, this really doesn't stain, so don't worry if you get it on your head. I think Glaze actually sell like one of these tangle teaser style brushes that you can use, but I just got mine off Amazon, so don't feel like you have to buy theirs. I am just going to add a little bit more along here. I know that's already the dark bit of my hair, but I just want it to feel a bit more cohesive. If you could see the state of my side, <laughs> my boyfriend's going to go mad. There we go, all done. Now that took me probably less than 10 minutes. Again, if you feel like you've missed anywhere, just go over it or just give it a quick brush. 
Now, like I said, you only leave some for 10 minutes. So I'm going to go watch some Vampire Diaries and then we'll be back. It's been 10 minutes, so I'm going to wash it off. I'm only going to use a shampoo to wash it off. I'm not going to use a conditioner as well. And I'm going to make sure the water is like lukewarm, not like too, too hot. So yeah, be back in a minute. Okay, so I've washed it out of my hair. Again, I didn't use anything but shampoo. I've also given this a little bit of a rinse. I also haven't used any other styling products because honestly, you don't need to. This makes your hair so shiny and so soft that I never really felt like I needed to use anything else. Now, I'm not gonna style my hair properly just because I'm very impatient. I'm just gonna blast it dry with my Dyson. Final hurdle. <sighs> okay. Time for the true test. Roots compared to ends. Yes. They blend in perfect. I was a bit worried at one point that it was maybe going to turn out like nearly black but I feel like it's just the perfect tone that I wanted. It's not too dark and it's not too warm. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. If you haven't tried the glaze glosses before then I definitely recommend them. They do have loads of different colours especially for blondes, redheads, brunettes like you've seen. This isn't a sponsored video, I wish I was getting paid. But no, it's just a product that I love and I'm going to keep on using and I think it's just a lot less damaging to hair. But yeah, super happy with it. I'll put links below to the products if anyone wants to try it. And yeah, now I'm going to go clean up all the mess that I've made so that my boyfriend doesn't notice when he comes back tomorrow. <laughs>